do not be alarmed. Things are going as planned. Do not adjust your dial. I mean, okay, I understand that what you're watching this on doesn't have a dial. It's kind of a turn of phrase, but things don't really have dials anymore. It's all just buttons. Actually, I have a dial right here. It does this. Shit, I haven't even followed my own advice on whether or not to adjust dials. So, don't do what I just did. This has really kind of gone off the rails. But anyway, I'm out of time. It's extra credit. Uh, extra credit. Now. Yeah. Now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, let's start it. Yeah, let's start it with that. Ow. Ha! We're taking oh. over. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi everyone. Hey everybody. Uh, so wow. next for next four hours, we're gonna be uh, oh, we're gonna be doing this. Fuck me. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, which is pro you know you probably know, but <laughs> uh, we are from a little show, little fan podcast, a little show called Extra Credit. We basically do what the F Plus does uh, with stuff that they threw out, or at least we used to. Now mix and gauge and mostly make stuff for us. <laughs> I don't even know um, what we do anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so we just hang out over on THEFMIN dot US and uh, post our stuff. Uh, so tonight, as a uh, little gift to uh, Lemon and Boots and and others, uh, we're gonna, you know, we're just taking over the late night hours so that they have a chance to uh, relax. <laughs> just kidding, they won't relax. But uh, that's the idea. Uh, anyway, before we start out tonight, I uh, I did want to I did want to list a couple of incentives that we have. Um, <sighs> Well, mm. so there are two incentives that I'm going to outline right now. Uh, one of them is from me. Uh, I, if uh, we get a forty dollar donation, uh, I will draw you a stylized drawing of one tarot card, your choice. Uh, you just uh, let me know in your uh, donation what you want it to be. I will cap that out at three, I think. I'll cap that out at three. Um, and another one here, we've got uh, Ganymede here. Ganymede is Ganymede Hello. will write you a silly song. Right, Ganymede? Uh, silly is a nice way to just say uh, uh, bad. Um, <laughs> but, I have but a bevy of instruments at my disposal, and I'm terrible at playing all of them. Twenty-five dollars. You can get. Uh, you can get a nice song from Ganny. So let's go ahead and go into our first document here. Uh, freeze ray poetry, which I think a lot of people have been wondering, what the fuck is freeze ray poetry? Oh, God. Well, I sure it's, have. It's uh, Child, pretty hard wanna... for us to tell as well. Shell, do you want to introduce us? Uh, I will in a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Already a fucking. It's very match. hard for us to tell as well, but uh, as far as we can tell, it's some kind of nerd poetry zine. Easing, if you will. Uh, oh. Yeah, in uh, the room for the next couple hours, we have me, Shell Game. Uh, oh, we have shit. the Lesbiathan. Hold on, I promised a sippy sip. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, mm. it's so Positive bad, folks. stress. Hi. <laughs> Ganymede. Hi, Ganymede. Uh, yep, I'm here. <laughs> I, hate, I hate push to talk so much. Dijon de jour. <laughs> I'm helpful. <laughs> And Turtle. Uh, hi, hi, I don't have anything to read. Uh, what am I reading? Uh, I don't have a line. <laughs> I didn't pick my line. <laughs> Thanks for uh, bucks, oh, boy. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Freeze Ray Poetry it is a place for nerd zines. Also, um, it's a, not nerd zine, sorry, nerd poems uh, fashioned into <sighs> some sort of e-zine. And uh, they're pretty insufferable. Pretty insufferable. Yay. Fuck. <laughs> um, uh, as a special incentive for this hour, if at any point someone donates a hundred dollars, no, we will make uh, we will stop our reading and we will make the Lesbiathan read a Harry Potter poem. Oh, no. <laughs> <But, laughs> no. why? Because, uh, uh, 
Oh! Well, <laughs> shit! Fuck me! It's a very And start off tonight, Liz Bioth, and if you go down to the end of the <laughs> document to page yeah. uh, 25, what <sighs> happens when the fire falls in love Sorry. with you? Sorry, Thanks, 25 out of 27? Yes, okay, please go down there. Okay. All right. What happens when... <laughs> Sorry, what happens when the fire falls in love with you? Parentheses Harry Potter by Julia Gaskill. <laughs> now, so do I have long. to listen to this? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. When the night... Oh, fuck, okay. When the nightmares come, Ginny learns the best thing to do is lay an arm across his waist and run the fingers of her unused hand through his always messy hair, semicolon <laughs> a hum tune calmly floating from her throat. When he screams in his sleep, she pulls him oh. closer, kissing the back of his neck to usher him away from the darkness. It's exactly what she wishes someone had done when the night... This is a poem. When the nightmares had come for her at 12. When the time was... Thank you! Oh. <laughs> gotta, gotta read it again. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Ben. I'm getting fucking jump scared by Mbop. <laughs> When the silence overtakes him at the breakfast table, jam drooping off his toast as he stares across the room like the Dark Lord just waltzed in, <laughs> Jenny asks him questions to bring him back to Earth. She knows. She asks how Neville's getting on in his new position when he thinks Man. of her soon-to-be sister-in-law's wedding plans. I love, a, po I love a poem. <laughs> I love a poem about Harry Potter's PTSD. <laughs> hey. Where is that in the world nowadays? And of course she knows. She always knows the answers, but it's better to keep his mind distracted. She knows that this is the only way he'll survive. Oh, there's so much more. Mm -hmm. the tears Verse his... blank, head empty. <laughs> when the tears overtake his entire face, the middle of the, middle of the grocery <laughs> store, and she doesn't ask what triggered this sudden shift. Perhaps the little golden boy at the end of the aisle reminded him of another one who once wielded a camera or the clerk who just posted, Oh, there's a sale on socks. Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so everyone in the chat <laughs> saying that this isn't a poem, uh, you're not seeing the line breaks. Yeah, so. no, these line <laughs> breaks, this is formatted sorry. like a poem. This is yeah, a poem. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, where was I? Uh, maybe it's just the overwhelming sense that the muggles surrounding them will never know what it is that they went through. Ginny doesn't shirk or away or snap. Instead, she offers him her palm, running her thumb over the knuckles as she squeezes, never once letting her blazing eyes leave his face. Final I'm paragraph. I'm glad they're shopping at a muggle grocery store. It's called store. Stanza when it's a poem, Julia. <laughs> This isn't a poem, though, so... Uh, when he drops onto their couch, hardly awake due to the exhaustion of yet another interview, she follows to throwing herself nearly on top of him. It always pleases her if a laugh leaves his lips, and soon her arms find their way around his neck. Through their laughter, she places a kiss on his forehead, where the reminder the proof still lingers, as if to say, I know, I, I've got you now, don't, don't you worry, I'll kill anyone who ever tries to take that smile away, I'll burn... <laughs> Them to the ground before they can ever touch you, and she means it with oh, all her heart. Okay, fuck you. All right, thanks, Shane so Boy. Show that clerk announcing uh, the same way. Thank you, Shane Boy. Thank you for that, and thank you, everybody else. This is this is already going really nicely, but we're gonna go ahead and go back to the beginning of the document, uh, so we can get oh. through this proper. Uh, we'll get to the other thing later. Uh, positive stress. Yes. So, uh, this is not actually, it, Freeze Ray Poetry is not just a Harry Potter fandom, uh, poetry website. It is Thank an God. overall fandom nerd website. So would you please read this next poem that is, uh, to the members of the, <laughs> the show Parks and Rec? Bullshit. No. Fuck. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the Church of Ludgate. I'm gonna Fuck throw off. something. The Church of Ludgate by Brennan Bestwick for Aubrey Plaza. Some god of Wow, this this falls apart in the first line. Okay. <laughs> we gotta make sure that this gets to Aubrey Plaza as the author intended. Yes. <laughs> Aubrey, if you're out there, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for donating, Aubrey. 
Some god of give half a fuck shaped your awkward in her likeness. You, the almighty messiah of mumble, the good shepard of shit talk. Nice. We are kneeling at your altar. Baptize us in bitchy and bitter. Uh, we have all stood witness to your resurrection of deadpan. Oh the dust God. rising from the cupboards. No cast member from the Sopranos ever accepted an award thanking both the devil and every dark lord in their speech. Only <laughs> you. Another religion. Only you, the goddess of oh my goodness, the all-powerful. If the thunder you steal from Amy Poehler's Pawnee Parks could be bottled, Edison would rise again, just to patent it. You archangel, oh. liquor-breathed saint. Never before has someone <laughs> shown a, a, G a GQ interviewer the knife she'd kill him with and capture our hearts. No longer will we wander in the desert of laugh tracks. We have found our salvation. How awfully out of place you are, and so perfectly need to be. Amen. I fucking hate her. <laughs> Amen. So fucking much. This person Roll doesn't seem to be able to separate uh, character from actor. Mm, no, really. No, Aubrey, Pla Aubrey Plaza is uh, uh, April, I think it was, from uh, Parks and Rec. They're the same person. Uh -huh. And Amy Poehler with her uh -huh. famous Parks. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of them. It's important that we celebrate her as much as possible before she's punished for stealing thunder from the gods. We're off to a great start. And also for threatening a GQ interviewer. All right. <laughs> I've, got a po I've got a poem coming up here, and I swear it's a poem, no matter how long these, these oh lines may God. look. Oh my uh, this God. is just a general, this is a general fandom poem. Um, and it's called Makeup Tips for the Eyes of Horus. By yeah, Rich Boucher. That's a lot of words. I thought they were actually demons, so I let the oh. Neanderthal out of me and howled for blood. I started hollering and yelling old man phrases after them, get the hell off my lawn and all that. Even though I live with my girlfriend in her ex-husband's house, and okay. what little lawn we have is barely oh. enough for anyone to get off of. Oh. I didn't know if they were Jehovah's Witnesses or Jehovah's Door-to-Door -door salesmen, but I what? stood my ground Florida style with extra oh. fuck and pull and bellowed, uh, bellowed, even though I hadn't shaved or axed my body. To, and uh, today, uh, modern alchemists symbolize resistance to change at an elemental level. With a line drawing laid on its side of Lady Gaga hate fucking Emily Post into oh oblivion. Like a man dispossessed, I chased those three or four youths away from my door. And yes, I'll still use the term youths, even though I am almost 45. And mm. the what? World War II vet at Walmart consider me yes. a youth. It turns out they were the new <sighs> religious tract salesmen, but they were not selling Seventh Day Advent oh anything God. at all. They were selling that I should like what <laughs> MC. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> they were selling that I should be ready for the Syrian slap chop apocalypse. They were selling mm. that I should start mm. not knowing the meaning of gender anymore. Woo! Syria, create the slap chop? And You're gonna love my WMB. The symbol for fear of being wrong about a new person's gender commentary is a line drawing laid on its side of a stick figure man in a skirt in a wheelchair digging a grave. Do you get it? Oh, that sounds difficult. Do you this get it? poem sounds like it was written by a 17-year-old, but it's an <laughs> no, old it's man ran by a 45-year-old. They were selling that I should learn to speak like the modern young people and begin to become ambiguous, that I should begin to be afraid of being exact, that I should start thinking of asking for a clear, concrete yes or no as being rude, that it was the best three in the afternoon I had, had and I had the day off. I was just eating my cereal, just in a t-shirt, and just in my boxers. And it was a dark and stormy night, even though it was three in the afternoon. I chased them out of my cul-de-sac on that overcast Thursday, like I was St. Anthony, and they were a pack of demons. And I was running them away from here, forcing them off of Aegis Cliff. I ran after... 
I ran after them. Yes. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> I ran after them past the oh. open living room windows of my neighborhood. I heard the soap opera women crying in the daylight air, wailing like Ooh. the witches in the olden time movies, weeping Ooh. with all due loudness and inconsolable because it seemed like there was no one who could remember 1985. I heard the octogenarian infomercials asking who was that masked man as fiery spit flex flew out of my muscle as I chased them and chased them until they were at last and forever out of my empty middle of the workday driveway and in today's secret modern alchemy for si the symbol for ironic disillusion, the symbol for precipitative collapse in your own first base element is a drawing yeah. laid on its side of Lindsay Lohan wedding herself no, while trying so to let a joint in now, a world famous elevator. Now it's gonna be a really detailed drawing. No, I really, I really <laughs> Yeah. I really liked it uh for almost all of it. You you kinda lost me at the Lindsay Lohan wedding herself line. Oh, oh no, oh, that was the best did, part. They, he didn't lose you at the fucking <laughs> Thing about gender okay <laughs> you know what i like about this poem so much is the, it's the gender essentialism it's positive like right at, yeah i love that like right, at, like right at the end when it's like i i chased them chased them chased them and i was like oh it's like you you're trying to do a poem you weren't yeah. trying to do a poem for the rest of it uh, but then like almost at the end you were like i remember what poetry looks like <laughs> yeah, oh they, they didn't lose me. I just regretted having followed them in the first place. <laughs> uh, I've just got some distressing news. Two people have donated upwards of a hundred dollars to make me reread the Harry Potter book. <laughs> like, well, oh yeah, uh, they're shit out of luck. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm no. gonna do. No, uh, Ganymede. Uh, I'm going to have Ganymede read uh, the next poem called "Postcard to Mindy Kaling from the Parking Lot of an In and Out Burger." Jesus Christ! What? But <laughs> then I am going to return to a different no. Harry Potter poem. Are you fucking kidding me? That I makes really, her kidding me last minute. I, I really thought that this would be like when I heard like nerd poetry. I was like, oh, it's going to be like Star. I did not expect. Fucking NBC sitcoms left and right. You see where you're going to be starting. Yes, this is postcard to Mindy Kaling from the parking lot of In and Out Burger, uh, from the office somehow. Also note the poet is a white woman. By Daniel Danielle M Mitchell Mitchell Mitchell. Now the fact Mitchell. that you pointed that out <laughs> makes me very worried. <laughs> From what you tell of it, we bro we both grew up like chubby Indian girls. My mom made spaghetti and enchiladas and avocados on toast. Mm. I would say we ate okay. quote unquote American food, but that's not fair to any of us. No. When I say us, I mean you and me and whoever we are or who wants to be sleeping with us. Mm -hmm. The people who really care. I'm somewhere <laughs> reading your book, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? And realizing my coming of age story is titled, I've Run Out of Reasons to Love Me and the Vodka is Missing. Okay. In the, okay. in the afternoons, I drive by in and out Burger and make a U-turn to get a chocolate milkshake or a vanilla oh. milkshake. <laughs> It really doesn't matter what kind of milkshake. You see, this is where I'm at in life. My ass hates me, and yeah. guys love my ass. And fear my... Uh, did I skip a line? No, and fear my no. ass. I, I fear my I ass. I fear my ass. I fear my ass. Okay. It's always right. sneaking up behind me. I thought I misread. And what it might accomplish on this French fry and milkshake diet. Sometimes uh... it's really late at night when I show up here, and I've just had an anxiety attack and feel like I haven't eaten in 15 oh. days. Mm. Uh, no man will understand how I want to be hated and adored like, say, the Oakland Raiders. And there's no way in hell... God. And there's no way in hell I'd go 15 days without eating. I park oh under a streetlight so the drive through attendant could see me getting carjacked and contemplate what you would say here. Seek help! You'd seek say... Help. No, no, not seek help. Definitely not seek help. Uh, you'd say, Danielle... Go, hey, nice butt. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell through the door. 
you'd say, Danielle, you should just keep being what you are and wearing really tight dresses. Or you'd say, uh, damn, girl, you got some fries with that shake. And I'd yes, say, I just ordered them from you 10 seconds ago. Thanks, Mindy. <laughs> And I'd say, thanks, Mindy. You're probably right. Then we'd go shopping for Spanx together. On our way through the mall, we'd shop the economy bin at Lens Crafters and pick out matching eyeglasses. Now we look like badass nerds. Mindy, I can't wait for our 30s. We'll be total thugs, right? No. Taking parasocial relationships. Sorry, is this still poetry? <laughs> <laughs> this one didn't even have any line breaks. Well, it was I don't also think it is. Hard. But I don't know what? enough about poetry to say that it isn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm very upset with all of your gatekeeping of what is and isn't poetry here. You guys are not letting the written word express itself. You're right. I'm sorry. That's completely but, true. Okay, I'm, but I'm like a, also I'm a literally canvas, and I, someone's filling me with pop culture garbage. <laughs> literally, the only difference between this and like a like an early 2000s like white woman comedy set is that she does not mention a husband. <laughs> 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 having one or wanting one. All or, right, having, uh, or having had one. Oh, we did just hit $11,420.69. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's buy it then. Thank, Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. for putting us if over. If you go back down to uh, page 26 of 27, I, oh, I'm going God. to break this down for you. I would like you to read the first part of The Half Blood Prince Tells oh, Justin my. He Is Not a Wizard. <laughs> no. oh, God. <laughs> Uh, and oh, if you'll stop God. where I marked, uh, okay. that'd be fantastic. Okay. Jesus. Okay. The half blood prince tells Justin he's not a wizard by Justin Rogers. If you were wondering who Justin was. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. It's, it's written like a bad E.E. E. Cummings poem. All right. It's silly to believe <laughs> yep. you are a wizard. You think so limited. So predictable. You think you might have all this magic, but you don't. See the oh. death or the ghost. I've seen you look for dead friends and find pictures instead. You try to travel and wake up at 4 a.m. unable to summon the sun. Your mattress is a plateau <laughs> of failed charms. Your fingers burn from blunt buzz, <laughs> not from blue sparks <laughs> and brewing potions. <laughs> what, was, what was that? What was that? Not from blue sparks or brewing potions. potions I love brewing potion. potion. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> so <laughs> he should be using a potion master. Whoa, I'm gonna take a sip from. Yeah, a little little sip of potion. <laughs> Ugh, awful. <clears throat> the only magic you've ever spit is a curse from the mouth. A word you fear, friends will find deadly. A prayer turned plague. You don't have the discipline to bewitch the mind. <laughs> what <laughs> makes you believe you know this power when you can't even identify yourself? The Bath Blood Prince speaks of body parts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, oh boy! And uh, all right, yeah, we're gonna stop that poem right there because uh, yeah. enough people have uh, enough people have requested it that I'm going to make you read the rest of it, but split out through the rest of the no. night. No, no. So back up to page seven. No, no, no. no. Uh huh. No. Fuck you. Uh, It'd be like a soothing read... oasis to return to. <laughs> if you'll read our people. next poem, uh, for Daenerys Targaryen. Da I don't know how to. Daenerys Targaryen. Oh, this one's I gonna do. make me mad. A uh, voice of a motherfucking <laughs> generation. Yes. Yeah, this is for Daenerys Targaryen, voice of a motherfucking generation. Oh, I'm Bobby Crawford, <laughs> by the way. As Bobby with a Y, so I'm a dude. Yep. Khaleesi, you're the prophet of my inner uh, struggle. Because yeah. every morning I wake up, I'm all like, where are my dragons? Yeah. <laughs> where are my dragons at? Where are my dragons? <laughs> In mine at Dunkin' Donuts, trying to get to class on time. Oh, I gotta have my donkeys. Where are my dragons? <laughs> you better believe nobody cuts in line and steals my bagel. What do they do when my dragons aren't around? Damn it, you better are. believe they don't mess up my coffee when I got dragons up in here. Oh! <laughs> it's just getting more and more all caps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah, have to start wow. getting, uh, <laughs> I think my Caps volume started is really weird for what this is going to become. I have dragons up in here. <laughs> oh, no. This is real. This is the real poem, you guys.
<laughs> We've been where living I this whole time. Go. None of this is real. In the city. God. Yeah. Oh, hey, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Getting where I go, got to go in the city. I'm sitting on the train thinking, you know what I would be doing right now if I knew where my dragons were at? Not sitting on the beeline like some peasant. I would yes. ride dragons to work and social outing. Hey, oh, I thought you would get the dragons to the train. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the dragons would fuck the train. Oh, uh, yeah. Well. Hey, John? Oh, yeah. I've seen that. Going. No? When I'm enjoying yeah. Revere Beach and Chinatown and Grendel's Den, sure. yeah. I try and enjoy them with the wonderful companions of the dragons trying to cook a cup of noodles late at night. Where are my dragons? Were they Getting critical looks about my ID and liquor yeah. stores. Oh, it's real. And so are my dragons. Damn, Dijon. And quick social commentary so here, good. but seriously. How come you can drive a car as young as 14 in some states oh and God. die for your country at 18? But you gotta be 21 to have dragons. Am I right? Am I right? I don't know. Are you? I, yeah, I don't Damn. know the laws there. This is the only dragon that doesn't spit fire. <laughs> <laughs> I even try to check my dragon privilege. Good God. Make sure I'm aware and of society's gross dragon distribution inequality. Can't get behind that, dog. Can't get behind that. <laughs> Those of us in the queer community and working class labor uh, unions uh. and single parents and artists, where are our dragons? Man, oh, where, yeah. do you, where, do you, where do you find out who Daenerys Targaryen is? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's a, she's a, she's a teamster. <laughs> <laughs> working class union, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Daenerys, it seems, when only a few people have dragons, everyone else is seriously fucked. Oh, Do I you even that. pay taxes on your dragons? Damn. <laughs> Damn. For real, though. Oh, okay. Forward slash. <laughs> if I had a dragon. But seriously, I, folks. I would have the Biggest dragon booger barbecue and y'all y'all's invited. Oh, cool! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm invited. I bet dragon meat tastes delicious. Wait, you're killing a and weird eating? Turn. <laughs> Took a weird turn. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Eat the By the way, dragons. I was farming them the whole time. Shit. <laughs> like freedom, like fraternity. Like Panda tea. and Polar Bear. Oh, no. Nope. Wait, wait, that's the end of the poem. The end. I bet dragon meat tastes like panda meat. The end. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, no, if you don't have that for reference, you can compare it to Polar Bear meat. Oh, my uh, God. Great job, Dijon. Thank you for reading that. Yeah. Thanks, Dijon. Um, next up. Yeah. For all of you out there who are like, this isn't nerd stuff because it's about TV shows. It's not about video games. Well, I got a video game poem for you. No. Uh, yeah. Tom here's going to read it. I am going to read it. This is uh, it, this is Bioheart. No. This is my Bioshock <laughs> poem. No. Yeah. No. Absolutely not. Only real nerds appreciate Bioshock. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is by Beza Ozer. Sometimes I wish you were a little sister, and I was a sea slug, so I could live in your stomach. <laughs> when is Garvin going to more episode? Line one, I'm out. <laughs> so what did we learn today? <laughs> Shortest hour of my life. <laughs> Sometimes when we're making out, I can hear that swinging 50s jazz music play in my head. What? Sometimes what? I want to inject you into my bloodstream instead of Adam. Yeah, I wish you were a mind-controlled child who would eat me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there should be a plasmid that could give me the power of making you really good mac and cheese. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> this is the worst one. 
What the fuck is that? <laughs> sometimes I feel like a big daddy. Nope. I want to pick you up and huh? show off my guns. <laughs> I drastically, I I drastically not... misunderstood the dynamic of the big daddy and the little sister. I do not want to be here for the daddy dom. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> this is the worst. Sometimes big daddy didn't have guns, they had drills. Oh, I'm sorry. He's got a little bit of that. Sometimes big daddies get lonely. <laughs> Actually, big daddies are almost always accompanied by a little sister. <laughs> also, Dude, Tuttle, you should know, name. Ely says that you're his big daddy. Oh, thank you, Ely. <laughs> Sometimes I'm living in a hopeless dystopia. But with you around, it's not so bad. Wait! Bioshock uh, takes place in a no, place just no, whatever. Right, that's Nerds. the point. That's good Sometimes. poem. It's a good poem. What is, what is your it, fucking no. poem? Someone made me read a bunch of Harry Potter shit. Why don't you poem. like this? I have taste. <laughs> Go ahead, no, what are you doing? You're drinking the orange juice monster. Good. You know what, stress? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, Go ahead. I'm not sure this is better than the content. <laughs> Sometimes I do anything for you. Even fight oh. a splicer. Sometimes you use the incinerate plasmid <laughs> against me. Sometimes you need to go through the garbage to get coffee. <laughs> Only real gamers will get this though. Sometimes you have to press circle to jump. <laughs> I'd have a turret for you. Maybe for you, I'd hit X when prompted. <laughs> it's, tri it's triangle to jump before anyone in the chat corrects me. I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Sometimes the ad that says fire at your fingertips pops up and I think about yours on my skin. Oh, God. Fire? What? Oh, they're fingers. Okay. Sometimes you save all of the little sisters. Sometimes you get the happy ending. Not always. Fuck you. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, boy. So, for as a palate cleanser to that, hey, let's buy it then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Absolute fucking piss. If you can go all the way back down to page 27, yeah. and yeah, you'll start really where you left off. Yeah. Number three, the mind is a terrible thing to cleanse. Okay. It's called in a fragmented vision made up by what the mouth feeds it. Or the mind is a potion of dreams that only come true inside the head. <laughs> or after all this time, the mind must become a waste. The half-blood prince sweeps through the past. Or the half-blood prince. Oh my god, it's so long. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to forget the I sweep the halls. My tongue is straw bristle. I spot <laughs> my cauldron. Look that's the, the hall's forest. memories. Fuck. Sorry. Sorry. My body a cauldron that the hall memories are poured into. I ask my past selves if they are real, and they say, I am the only one as real as I have forgotten. Hold on. I am only <laughs> as real as what I have forgotten. <laughs> the monster doesn't want to stay down. It's coming up. So. <laughs> I sweep my memories and learn. I have forgotten how to smile 10 million spaces to want what I own more than I have lost. I have a castle of antidotes. But no, An no. Anecdotes. Yeah, whatever. But they have the filled my body with... Sense. I wish there was an antidote for this, po this poem. <laughs> <laughs> but it filled my body with old selves. Oh, I am a cold stare in the corridor's mouth pressing thin holding back the potion my saliva might, must be. Well, you said you didn't make potion. A poison I brewed of death I cannot cauldron. forget, or a remedy for the present. The half blood prince speaks of body parts. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, he does. Thank you. Uh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> back on track here. Uh, uh, positive mm -hmm. stress. We've got uh -huh. some. Uh, we got a. We got a. We got another poem here. It's mm -hmm. also for it is for it is also for an actor. Great. Uh okay. if you would please read my ears point to toward the stars. 
Now, see, this, this is what I was expecting. A nice Star Trek poem. Yeah, this rules. My ears point towards the stars, Star Trek, by Rick Lupart for Leonard Nimoy. Oh, Englewood, New Jersey, city on the edge of forever. Oxygen first entered my mouth. 1968, uh, you had already been Spock for two years. Uh, on the verge of cancellation, a move the television executives didn't know would be meaningless. 83 years later, another actor already put on your face, but you are forever him. Okay, half 80 years later. Half already. Human. So soon. Your emotions a struggle, kind of like the rest of us. Leonard, I saw you eat birthday cake <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know I was there. I was through the window. Watching through a hole in the fence. <laughs> a few bites then, the plate and spoon abandoned at my table. Leave a little bit undone. Did, what the did wind- you do with the plate and spoon? I took You're it home. In my collection now. I vacuum I sealed it. <laughs> the wisdom of our ancestors always on your mind. The priestly blessing. Disguised. <laughs> why are mine all religious? <laughs> I don't know, why are they stressed? Salute. I shook your hand. That hand. I fanboyed words into your ears. Your wife had seen it all before. I photographed the cake. <laughs> oh, okay. I photographed the cake. This was the cake of the Nimoy. This was his spoon. <laughs> this was it. My life. Something he touched it. My life. Always informed by his. Always in search of the stars. Oh, damn. You Star Trek, dude. God. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, next up, I have another. I have a poem about another live action, live action uh, show. Okay. Uh, sure. Something with an immense fandom, something we're all familiar with. We, even if we didn't watch it, we all know it by name. Weeds. Sesame Street. <laughs> in blue. The two flat black surfaces mash back and forth between the hands of the puppeteer. The crumbs fly no everywhere. No the hunger is way. not sated. The hunger <laughs> is not uh, sated. Are you fucking kidding the revolution me? will not be televised. <laughs> the cookie off. monster was built with no throat. Only googly eyes wide at the injustice. Oh my Alienated from his labor. <laughs> blue. The, the color what? of estrangement. No red tongue for taste, just a taste. The cookie monster was built without sense. Only mechanical uh, instinct, only vacuous destiny to forever pulverize what? the ones he loves. No. If he thinks about it, he can't even breathe. Which is why he doesn't think, just trusts in his jaw to navigate the world full of things that do and do not begin with C. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not good enough for me. <laughs> um, let's see wow. here. Uh, since Julia's been working oh, a bit of God. overtime here, I'm thank actually going to have a uh, Hey, Dijon. Uh huh. <laughs> Would you please read us a poem about the other stars fandom? I think you'd be doing the same voice, huh? Oh, hey, welcome to my it. new poem. It's Padme motherfucking Amidala. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this is just gonna be the same fucking poem. <laughs> <laughs> it's real girl power, girl boss energy. Love it. What the Wookiees taste like. <laughs> She's not a, oh my god, Padme motherfucking Amidala who fucking dies giving birth and that's all she does. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's very important to the story, Stress. Now, yeah, it's Wikipedia. very, very important that she dies giving birth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, Padme anyway, fuck- I'm, motherfucking I'm, Amidala from Star Wars. Go on, Dijon. Yeah, from Star Wars. Uh, I'm, I'm Alan Tucci. Um, <laughs> That's too not that. no. <laughs> If you asked a five-year-old me what she wanted to be when she grew up, she would have said... Padme motherfucking Amidala. Oh, I'm really sorry. Your really? Child and sucked. I haven't grown since. <laughs> Jesus. I cannot Stop wait to die so that another man can have motivation. <laughs> Queen Amidala does not oh, give a man. shit. 
not about acting like a lady, not about listening to Jedi, not about the Trade Federation and oh the goddamn God. treaty. You have that in common with all the people who saw that movie. <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> <laughs> The only thing Padme Amidala cares about are diplomacy and high goddamn fashion. Oh boy, yeah. goddamn! And white face. <laughs> well, I was keep going, queen. you got a lot of poem. I was Queen oh, Amidala for oh, Halloween gosh. in 1999. Price wise, my costume oh, was my a god on par. With a small motorcycle, but my glorious geek of a father cared more about parading his tiny homemade nets around the cul-de-sac than he did about Christmas presents or lack dinner. Oh my god. So was that child abuse? I think that's child abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Possum's a that's small dire. motorcycle. <laughs> my dad did money. my Halloween makeup that year, and it looked awesome. He told me the red stripe on Queen Amidala's lips stood for the suffering she'd endure for her people. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds expanded universe. I don't know if that's expanded. <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking that the kind of ruler who paints her loyalty on her face and blood is the kind of woman I wanted to grow up to be. You were fucking five, dummy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Get a that's better life. reinforced in the next line. When episode one debuted, I was five. My Same. dad let me believe that Queen Amidala was the main character for as long as it took me to realize the most respected political figure in the galaxy was a supporting character. Nope. For all 133 minutes of disaster, that was the Phantom Menace. Oh my god. George Lucas, the real menace, oh, had out his fingertips. Yeah, get him. The chance to give us one of the oh most compelling God. female characters mainstream science fiction had been <laughs> seen. Well, yeah, there have been that. no others. Oh my God, okay, so Princess Layla didn't... And he robbed us of her. At no point is it revealed how Padme was elected democratically to lead an entire planet at 14, an age when most girls can't maintain diplomacy like with a, their that, hormones. That seems like a bad system! This seems like a bad system. This seems like not a queen. <laughs> Fourteen. Jesus. We don't get a lick of what is undoubtedly the coolest backstory pretty much space space ever. Hmm. <laughs> Instead, we get two dudes and a submarine dodging Leviathans. Leviathans. Yeah, 45 <laughs> minutes of dudes pod racing. We get a wine yeah, and that's what I call dude it. with so many midichlorians. Great movie. Oh. No one wanted to be a young Anakin Skywalker for Halloween. What? Not true. Wrong. I think, I think my little brother wrong. was. Yeah, it's categorically <laughs> untrue. Yeah, what? Little brother's nobody. Damn. I'll tell him that. <laughs> no. <laughs> More than I usual. went as a brilliant, capable, and powerful diplomat who spent 133 oh minutes taking orders from men. <laughs> but I felt powerful for the first time in my short life. Oh you were God. five! That think all kids want to be a diplomat. <laughs> this, is like those, this is like those tweets you see, like, my five-year-old said that she really wants to get rid of Big Cheeto Drump Man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a she, poem! Holy it's not it's a She's such a powerful girl boss, but even she cried. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I recall, every door opened for me that night as I reached for each bowl of my well-earned reward. Hell yeah. Reaching for those bowls. <laughs> nice. Each towering adult told my father how cute I looked in my dress. <laughs> the end. Thank you. Get a better father. <laughs> <laughs> how how cute in this it, it's very motorcycle like for some reason <laughs> <laughs> oh boy okay um we're running we're running short we're running up to the end here uh i've got a couple more poems that could be read um uh. but i think what we're going to do is <clears throat> 
So, Dijon. Huh? Uh, would you like to uh, hear a general nerd poem, a Pokemon poem, <laughs> or a McElroy's brother, McElroy brothers poem? Uh, oh my fucking god! Oh. All these are gonna kill me. Dijon. Oh Dijon? my god! You have a choice um, just to do nothing for the next fifteen minutes. Fine, so, do that. One of these is going to hurt Julie the most. Yeah. <laughs> Please, God, don't do this. <laughs> But it's also probably the best one, right? Like if you think, think about it. I no. think I have to. I think I have to hear about the McElroy poem. Okay. Oh, yeah. God. God. Oh, son of a bitch, uninvited hey. to my wedding. This is uninvited. the same person who. Uh, this is the oh same person God, who wrote no. that. This is the same person who wrote the first uh, uh, Harry Potter poem. Uh, if you read a prayer, if you read a prayer to the McElroy brothers, where are the old fucking prayers? <laughs> A prayer to the McElroy oh, brothers. God. Oh God! Uh, the McElroy brothers from MBMBAM slash Adventure Zone by mm -hmm. Julia Casca. I'm, I'm gonna fucking die. Uh, very <laughs> important, like poetic structure note here. All of this is lowercase. <laughs> yeah. All of this is lowercase. <laughs> it's a um, fucking block of text. It, it's, of it has breaks. line breaks, but they're just slashes. You have they're to just imagine. Slashes. Yeah, that's how you do the new sincerity. All right. The enter button doesn't exist yet. All right, burn through this, Tuttle. I've been praying to the McElroys before bed. Oh these my days. god. It sounds like a <laughs> bumble of a laugh, gasp of warm air, tooth snagged against my tongue, which Ugh. is to say, a thank you, mumble <laughs> to the hungry you. darkness, a holy vow. Oh my god. How January person... has swum by. <laughs> what? This person's oh, jerking off. <laughs> the title is a prayer to the McElroy brothers, but when I heard praying to the McElroys, I was, not, I was still not ready for it. Our <laughs> brothers, who are on Yahoo, hallowed be thy name. Oh, <laughs> I think God should be able to vote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh, dripping God. slowly this year, Ugh. and I haven't cried once, have not heaved myself what? from bed, what? have not broken. I am always so punctual in my breaking, but this winter what? I am still whole, and I know there are a multitude of factors, God. but I keep coming back to these three. How they turn my mouth into a circus flare. What? How the rain <laughs> slips off my son of a body. <laughs> <laughs> that son as in the celestial body. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> How I have turned warrior cat. <laughs> no. I am not fooled. Yeah, I'm no also going feral. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. No depression is but a stone's throw away. Has only left to go grocery shopping. Uh... It will burn. The breaking always returns. Oh punctual God. imperfection. But these boys, these good, good boys... <laughs> <laughs> no. yes. knew it was coming but it still hurt so much Fuck. <laughs> these good good boys Stop slit it. depression's tires <laughs> cover the aisles in jelly pull depression into a bizarre sales pitch they keep the breaking so far from my home that depression <laughs> slips from my memory and what is left is all of me chipped but still all and so I pray to taco uh, I pray to every dog I long to pet. I pray to a world that is oh so wonderful. I pray to my headphones. Bury them in my ears like seeds aching to bloom. And I push play and grin and heal. Oh my Never thought God. I'd say this, but if you consider Christian Christianity? Uh... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't I don't care how you feel about the McElroy brothers. This should not fucking exist. Right? <laughs> right? Right? God. So are they a pantheon or do you worship like the collective brothers or They're a trinity. They're the yeah. Oh god. <laughs> the brother, brother and holy brother. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Uh so in order so to wrap this all up Mm. Let's buy it then. Mm. <laughs> Can we please go back to page twenty-seven? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. One more stanza to that yeah. Harry Potter poem. Yeah. I'm not sure yet right. if Justin is a wizard or not. 
<laughs> All right. Sorry. Put the number final six. nail in the coffin. Yeah, number six. Yeah. The tongue. The tongue is a double spy. Bottles fame, but makes home of shadows. Brews glory, but spills a prophecy of death. Speaks clear, but saliva is a pool of doubt. Mm. <laughs> the tongue is the most powerful magic. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys fucking suck. <laughs> the tongue is the most powerful magic. Ten faces, you know there is a, isn't a witch or wizard who went bad, who wasn't hiding a spell in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Getting sexual. I mean, yeah, they're, they're oh, I hard. I see, see Hux is trying to picture of uh, Harry Potter shooting uh, uh, lesbians. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it's the most biased. Uh, Hux's drawing yeah. is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> just, just literally killing me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Drink, is sa- crying and drinking a monster. Yeah, oh, buddy. Uh, be sure to uh, be sure to. Uh, Take in Hux's art. Uh, this is the end of this hour. Uh, we, we've, we've done it. We made it through an hour. So uh, It feels like so many more. The same group is going to be sticking with us. Uh, and I believe what's next up is some... Uh, <laughs> stay around, stick around for some uh, historical <laughs> sex RP. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. 